Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X5. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre 35D X-Drive 5 door 2010 on a template. Has done 62,496 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 26.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 39.8 miles per gallon. And combined is 34 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 6.9 seconds, a top speed of 147 miles per hour out of a six-cylinder, 286 brake horsepower, 24-valve engine. Six months road tax is £187 and 12 months is £340. Lovely car, price rangey. Uh, I'm not sure what style these alloys are, but they, they do look really nice. The plastic wheel arch protectors there and the X-Drive badge on the side has side running lights, the high pressure headlamp wash system, front parking sensors and the, the grill before it, <laughs> before it started to look like a caricature of the, of the grill and take up the whole front end of the car. Still looks nice and, and fairly discreet and you still know what it is that's uh, behind you. Power folding door mirrors, it's de-chromed so the black window surrounds, rear privacy glass, these aluminium side steps which aren't an afterthought, they're, they're built into the car, they look very discreet and, and nice to be fair. The sloping X6 coupe back there, the shark fin aerial on the top and a rather discreet spoiler, keeps the spray off the back screen and then a integrated rear spoiler on the back. I mean, look look how high the, the back is there. It's nearly uh, my shoulder height, it's enormous. Anyway, also we've got power open, power closed tailgate. Um, plenty of room in the back, split folding rear seats. There's the button there. Reversing sensors in the, in the bumper, and then we've got a reversing camera just there. <laughs> One of these sloping backs that I always bang my head on. Uh, I like the design in the back here. It's only a four-seater. And to, to be fair, whoever gets a fifth seat in the middle <laughs> is, uh, is pretty unlucky because it's never comfortable, it's never wide enough and uh, you, you sat there with your legs at either side of the, the gear tunnel it's, it's not comfortable at all so nice four seater you've got this bit between you to separate the kids so they can't fight pretty good design from BM, I've, I've got to be honest there you go, rear centre armrest it's, uh, it's pretty classy in the back here I've got to say this magazine it's not a net it's the the kind of full material so it's not all stretched and horrible we've got heated rear seats as well it's a nice nice car i'll just take you for a ride in it that's the bmw key slots in the the dash, foot on the brake, click start. You'll see there, it's, the seat has a memory. Um, when you get in, the, you, you can inflate these wings at the side. So when you get in, the, uh, <laughs> the car lets you out by deflating the wings so you can get out easy. And it, it remembers where your seat is. There's a couple of funny seating positions in here. That's just, it's a two position memory. So, hang on. That's, that's, that's the first one. That's, uh, I'm not sure what they were doing in here before, but anyway, that's, uh, let's just get back. But even, even the top there, you see the, the headrests and
That, I don't know what that bit does actually. I'm going to have to have a look what that bit does because it feels like it's bending the seat. <coughs> right, <laughs> so the, the seat top is actually bending. That takes the backrest, sorry, that's, that's the headrest. That, that takes the backrest back. Then there's another bit that, that bends the seat or flexes the seat. Then there's this thigh extension. What's that? That'll be lumbar support. I don't even know what that is. I probably only know what that is when I sit on it. Right, so that's lumbar support. Ah, that bit there. Sorry, that bit there. That's putting these wings in there. Right, so. If you can't find a comfortable position in here, <laughs> there's no there's no hope for you, Mr. Modo. Right, so we're in drive. You've also here got electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Just get that somewhere near. Because this, this seat's very uncomfortable now. That's somewhere near. We'll just do as we're going along. So, <laughs> I can't decide with these X6s whether I like them or not. I did. Then I went off them for a bit and, and I'm not sure now. Anyway, you can't see the shape when you're sat in the driver's seat. It's got the big wheels on. The, uh, wow, the, the electric, sorry, the, the heated seat is absolutely flipping. Like sitting on electric fire. That's very, very warm. We've got here, we should have, we'll just, I'll slow down when we get over this bumpy bit. That bit of road there is shocking. I'll just slow down a second. There you go, power folding door mirrors. Let's go again, we'll just, we, we can knock that over like so. Change gear manually. Or use the paddles. But over in drive is fine. It's a lovely steering wheel, nice, well padded. You've got your voice controls on there. I don't even know what's on there. That's that must be radio, I think. That's yeah. It's changing the the modes on the radio. That's changing to auxiliary. BBC Radio 1. I don't want to listen to that. I'd rather have it on auxiliary than listen to the BBC. Climate control. Disc here. Here we've got your iDrive. CD. Put, put it on nav. There you go, that's nav. Got a pheasant in the road here. A couple of... There's one at the side there. Get off the road. Nice front centre armrest. You've got auto hold there, hill hold. Instead of having to put your handbrake on, it just holds you automatically. The uh, I must admit, I, I don't think I've I've certainly never noticed them before. The seats like that where the where the back actually bends. I, uh, you know, people are people are always having a go at me about 
my driving position, the way I drive. And, uh, you know, you, you drive the car, it doesn't drive you. If you're not comfortable in the car, then how can you drive it? And uh, no, nobody can deny I'm not comfortable. There we go. It's either got very, very good soundproofing, or that's a dreadful horn. Steering is very precise. These uh, tyres, they're absolutely massive. It does need one tyre, it's uh, I think the tracking's slightly out, uh, so it'll have another tyre on it and the tracking done. You can't feel it too much. I think it's the, the driver's side wheel that's, that's, that's just out a little bit. So we'll get that done as well. We'll also be having it serviced. Um, so it'll be ready to go very shortly. It's, this only came in yesterday. It's a very, very nice car. It's also got, actually, let's just, it's also got the 360 cameras. So if I just put it in reverse there, there you go. You've got the 360 cameras, so you'll be able to see all around. The, the mirrors dipped so you can see the curves when you're um, reversing but if you if you have a look there look you can see it uh, so you can you can see where the curb is and also I think yeah, so you've got your parking sensor display there as well and you can see how it's going there I don't know where the cameras are in the in the menu that's the that's the complete menu anyway. We'll go back to nav. You can see where we are. Oh dear. Also have the split screen there. If you just knock it across and click on that, that's showing you latitude and longitude. But you can change what's on that side split screen. There you go. Display points of interest. Receive traffic information, you don't want that. Display points of interest. Yeah, don't need any of that. We'll just go back to nav. Nav, telephone, the menu, CD, radio, options. Again, that's going back to what you can have there. Night mode, satellite images, perspective view in 3D. All stuff you don't need. bringing the, the top in towards my head. I do like the seats. That's got to be a, an expensive option. I would think over and above the ordinary electric seats. Yeah. 
it's trying to keep my cameras cool so I've got the air conditioning on freezing unfortunately I couldn't find a way before of just putting the cold air on the screen it also goes on your feet so my feet are freezing <laughs> very solid feel to it and you can certainly feel the road got this walnut or walnut insets to the dash uh, the size of the gear tunnel and uh, and the door cards looks nice inside finished in grey metallic Steering is very, very precise. It's a, a sporty four wheel drive or a Grand Tour four wheel drive. Lots of pheasants about today. dashboard there on the left hand side is your speedo in the bottom of the speedo is your fuel gauge and you've got your information display in the center and uh, on the right hand side your rev counter in the rev counter it's showing you instantaneous miles to the gallon Just here's your cruise control, switch on, click in the end, and then let me see, is it push towards you, push away from you, so away from you increases the speed, and pulling back decreases the speed, and if you knock it either up or down, it knocks the, the cruise off. The rear parcel shelf, when you lift the tailgate up, the parcel shelf is still in place. And because of the rakish angle of the tailgate, um, where it actually meets the parcel shelf, is uh, it reduces the size of the parcel shelf to... <laughs> To, to about a foot 10 inches so when you put the tailgate up it, it is power open power close when you put the tailgate up you don't have to mess about moving the roller blind forward or moving the hard rear load cover forward you've still got plenty of space to put your luggage in and your shopping so that's one advantage of it sloping down At a nice wide bit here. Handy. We've got uh, we've got a 17 plate X6 in as well. In fact, we've got um, an 18 plate X5 in, 17 plate X6. Um, We've got an X1 in, a 520, 335, uh, 3 Series. Just trying to remember the other one where I think it's, you know, I can't remember, but uh, it's a Touring. 
We're just trying to do a deal on a two series as well. So we've got more than our fair share of BMs. If you want to look at the website, ggcars.co.uk, we should have them all on, or I will as soon as possible, get them photographed and videoed. It's certainly nice, comfortable seats, well padded in, in the back. <laughs> I'm going to have to take the chance of me GoPros overheating because I can't feel my toes. There we go. It is a sporty drive for a big car like this. And it certainly, it, it does feel very, very planted. You can feel every, you can feel everything on the road. Let's just slow down here. No, nothing coming, nothing reversing out of Sykes Farm. Sometimes you get round here as well and they just, they just let all the sheep out. Not a good day for pheasants today. Nobody out what my having said that we are. It's only five to nine in the morning, so we're quite early, but there's no walkers. The car park where I video the car. There was, uh, when I got there this morning, somebody had been camping overnight. I did all the still photographs, which uh, don't involve sound, obviously. Then as soon as I got my video camera out, <laughs> he, he must have had a, a generator or something, which he, he then got up and started slamming doors and uh, putting his generator on, so he can't win. So it's a free country and I don't own the car park. This is going to be fun. BMW suspension there. And I know most of you out there love it. It's just me. Kind of you. So, lovely car, looks great. Couple of marks on, nothing too bad to speak of. Um, drives nice, no noises or anything that's. Uh, is on towards. Just get that tracking done. Think actually. Yeah. Wi <laughs> wipers. It needs wipers. But looking back on the MOTs, that the person who bought that, they just used it for special occasions, and it, it was doing less than a thousand miles a year. They decided to sell it. Um, came and asked if we'd buy it. We're absolutely chock a block with cars at the moment. We can hardly move on the, the forecourt, and we still bought it. So, so that that tells you really, we think it's a good car. 
um, we 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 need to sell some cars. We've bought that many just lately. We need to we need to sell some. We're well stocked up. So we've specifically bought this vehicle. Um, as I say, that that speaks volumes. It, we think it's a good car. We think it's a seller. Um, see what you think. Give us a call. <laughs> I came here a few weeks ago and uh, I was in a, a Porsche Boxster and I just parked it here and I had a GoPro stuck to the, the boot of it, pulled the handbrake on, I went to get the GoPro and I heard a click, the handbrake came off and the, the Porsche started rolling backwards towards that big drop there. But this, this chap here is obviously uh, camping He's parked right on the edge there. <laughs> I, 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 I'm afraid I couldn't do that. Uh, not unless I'd got big ramps underneath the back, because otherwise he's going to end up in the river down there. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.